Okay guys, welcome back. We're here in um, Blender. And we're going to import our clothes we got from Marvelous Designer. So what I'd like to do is go on to a new layer. That's these little boxes down here. So we're going to check a new layer. And I'll move this in the center. And I'm going to go File, Import, OBJ. And um, we're going to find our clothes that we had. And I think it was these yoga clothes right here. And you see the clothes come right in. So when we hold down shift and activate the first layer, you'll see it goes right onto our avatar. Now, um, your boobs probably won't be shooting through them like mine are right now. So I'm just going to turn it off. And you see it fits just like it did when it was in Marvelous Designer. Now, remember when I told you that there was a way you can just quickly fix this, the clothes coming through? Um, we can just click on the garment and then go into sculpt mode and you can activate the inflate this is just my half ass way of doing it and you can just do like little light clicks and you see it puffs through now if you have a perfectly fitting garment and blender and you notice that in world is still clipping through even though you have it weighted properly and stuff like that it's not you it's actually the kimono um dev kit for some reason uh, I think the mannequin is just a little bit smaller than what it actually is in Second Life so even if this is perfectly set up here in uh, Blender it will be um, a little bit like not quite fitting that's just something that I've ran into a lot when I was working on this I'm just gonna use smooth real quick and smooth out some of these wrinkles I like the wrinkles but I don't like them being super harsh because that gives it that marvelous look I guess you could call it it's, it's harsh and it's gross okay so now we have it all set up and it is ready to like really pretty we can go on to rigging so I'm gonna hold on shift and I'm gonna activate the it's the layer underneath the first layer and that's the bones so your bones should pop in since so you should have clothes avatar and bones we're gonna start uh, rigging now so first thing at first is that we're going to go into object mode. Then you're going to click on your, press A and deselect everything. Then you're going to click on your garment and then you're going to hold down shift and then you're going to select the bones and then you're going to press control P and then you're going to select for with automatic weights and that's it. <laughs> your avatar is rigged to the skeleton so when we click on the bones again any bone will do really just grab something that's sticking out um, and then we go into pose mode you can click on a bone with your right mouse and then you can press R and you'll see that it's actually moving but it's not moving in an ideal fashion I mean you see this leg thing right here is uh, going bananas and it really shouldn't so we can fix that by doing some weight painting now I have a little trick here when it comes to weight painting uh, garments that are in two parts like the t-shirt and the pants I actually like to separate them before we go into work now there are multiple ways of separating and I guess I can show you it um, right now so what we do um, to separate our garment you need to actually I need to pause this and make this into a second video I forgot smaller videos not longer videos okay so hold on I'm going to take a quick break and I'm going to show you how to separate <laughs> 